We now move on to our collaboration with BizTech Asia. This is a discussion between our colleague uh, Brian Fernandez with his guest, Pan V. Leong, founder and CIO, or Chief Investment Officer of Track Record Asia. They're looking at some of the key developments moving into the market. Let's take a look. Now, V, I want to uh, switch then to cryptos. So, uh, an area that you are obviously have a significant degree of expertise. Um, what are, uh, so just two months ago, cryptos were above the 30,000 mark. Uh, they went down to 17 plus, which was higher than the support levels that technical analysis, uh, analysis suggested. And then they've rocked back up again above 20,000. What's your view on the crypto market right now? Uh, and how should traders be looking at this? So you are referring to the price of Bitcoin, the, the, of course, the yes. biggest uh, cryptocurrency uh, in the world right now. And uh, yes, it's been a volatile uh, few weeks. Um, the, the, the collapse in cryptocurrencies from the highs was mainly uh, triggered by uh, the collapse of the, the crypto hedge fund called Three Arrows, right? It's, it's one yeah, of the biggest funds involved. in the crypto space. And uh, um, it's, they were highly leveraged, highly, highly uh, 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 badly risk managed, I would say. And uh, as a result of the cascading uh, unwinding and liquidation, uh, we saw panic selling of uh, cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin and Ether to levels that uh, were, were unimaginable when it was close, close to the highs at the beginning of the year. But since then, you know, the market has recovered, the sentiment has recovered, but also um, uh, risk sentiment in general has recovered, right? Stocks are off the lows, uh, NASDAQ, S&P, about 10% off the lows uh, since since the, the, the start of the recovery. So that has improved uh, sentiment as well. But I, I believe now uh, the question now is where, where is it going to go? I think that the, the support for Bitcoin is now like 20,000. So it's going to uh, have, a, have a tough time trying to break lower without more bad news uh, or without uh, the stock market sentiment uh, deteriorating very much. Uh, uh, in in the short term, right? So it's uh, twenty thousand is likely to be supported, but uh, the upside is also going to be limited around twenty seven thousand for now, right? Uh, but I think the 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 key to note about the crypto markets is that uh, in September, mid September, the uh, Ethereum is expected to have a an upgrade to from the current consensus of a uh, proof of work, meaning that. You have to expand a lot of uh, computing power to validate the transactions to mm -hmm. proof of stake, which is just uh, about uh, staking resources and then getting consensus from there. So that will be uh, a big deal because this this merge, the so-called merge, has been planned for years and it's been postponed several times. And that's one of the reasons why uh, Ether was doing really well at the beginning of August because they are in that anticipation of the merge. Uh, but uh, it's come off the high since uh, uh, together with Bitcoin as well. I think the question is uh, for your audience would be like, if, if you have some e ether, what, what should you do? I think uh, it is really, uh, you got to be really careful because the, 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 it, there's a lot of technicalities involved, but the chain basically is going to split into two, 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 two uh, uh, methods of uh, validating transactions, right? If you don't know what you're doing, uh, if you're not an expert, it's best to not uh, transact 